It is stated that an ignorant person said to an Hakim, i.e. a wise person, he said to him, describe the benefits of such a thing to me that by the virtue of using it, I remain asleep even during the daytime. So this person, he came to the Hakim and what he wanted, he wanted something. He wanted something that if he took it, as a result of that, he could remain asleep, not just during the night, but also during the day. The wise person replied, O oh, so-and-so, how unwise are you? You're already spending half of your life by sleeping heedlessly at nights, whereas sleep is the other name of death. Now you want to waste a further three-fourths of your life in sleeping and keeping only one-fourth? The man asked, how is that? And the wise person replied, suppose you have a lifespan of 40 years, so your half of your life will be 20 years. Now you want to reduce it by another 10 years. In other words, you're already spending 20 years of your life by sleeping at night. If you remain asleep during the day also, it means you will be spending another 10 years of your life in sleep. Now what will you, what will you have in your hand to tarry out good deeds for the preparation of the hereafter will only be 10 years. Therefore, remove the desire of sleeping in excess from your heart. Now in this particular example, Viewers of Mother Nisha, we were told that this person, he gave the example of having a lifespan of 40 years. Let's say we've got a lifespan of 70 years. Let's say we've got a lifespan of 72 years. In them 72 years, if half of that time is already asleep, half of that time is already asleep, half of that time is asleep, and if we want more sleep, then what are we left with? And if we take care of other things like going to the toilet, uh, eating, traveling, and all these times that we waste that time, what is left of our life that we can do, treat about it, and collect those deeds that are going to benefit us on the day of judgment? So we've heard from this wise man how he reformed this person. This person, he was reformed as a result of this. He had the desire of sleeping in excess. And how he tried to give him the motherly mindset to think about the afterlife. The above mentioned parallel also contains admonition for those unwise people who waste most of the time only sleeping or staying in bed like bedridden parents. Some people, what they do is, is they sleep 8, 10, 11, 12 hours, yeah? But then what they do is, they don't, they don't get up and do something, they stay in bed. Even though they're not sleeping, they still stay in bed. And so they're like, as the example said here, bedridden patients, that they're in the bed all day as patients, they're not doing anything. And what they, real, was, what they don't realize is that their time is being wasted minute by minute. The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that the Blessed Mother, of Sayyidina Sulaiman bin Daud alayhi salatu wasalam said, O oh my son, do not sleep till late at night, for sleeping too much at night will leave a man poor on the day of judgment. It will not leave a man poor at the end of the week, it will leave a man poor on the day of judgment. Why? Because if he's sleeping too much, then he's not acquiring those deeds. It is stated on page number 125 of the book Jannati Zewar, published by Maktabat al the publication department of Dawud Islami. All the pious predecessors have said, hold firm to three habits. Number one, less talking. Number two, less sleeping. And number three, less eating. Because excessive talking, excessive sleeping, and excessive eating are all bad habits. And a person suffers due to these habits in the world and in the hereafter. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.